Hello everybody, it is Sunday, October 8th, 2017, and today I would like to talk about the artist goal. My name is Maxwell Yowser, and let's get started. So yesterday I talked about the balanced artist, and just to put it simply, the balanced artist is someone who can have the, who has the ability to basically choose what the artist or what you need as opposed to what you want. So I hope that um, that explains what the balanced artist is. Anyways, that's what we talked about yesterday. Um, today I want to talk about something really interesting, the artist goal. Um, as l Like I said before, I, I wrote a script because uh, I just don't want to uh, spend too much time on these videos, make it as quickly as possible. So I'm actually going to read from a script. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. Here we go. So the artist's goal, believe it or not, is not something you can hold. Unlike traditional goals that require proof of completion, such as a trophy, certificate, or even a diploma, an artist's goal is constantly in search of a feeling. Not necessarily a feeling of completion, but rather a feeling of completeness. To put it simply, imagine you have a bucket. Now imagine trying to fill it with water, but it never seems to get full. The artist's goal is trying to plug the hole in the bucket while at the same time trying to fill it. Here I am using metaphors to say that the artist is the bucket and that the water is the artist's work. I cannot tell you what the artist's goal is for you. You will have to discover that for yourself. I can tell you, however, what the artist's goal is for me. I hope that one day I can look at the body of my work and stand proudly among the artists that I admire and feel welcomed. So that's the artist's goal for me, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Holy cow, you guys, I completely forgot to draw you the illustration of what an artist's goal looks like. So here we go. I'm going to do it, and hopefully it's going to be in focus. So first thing I want to do is draw a bucket, and hopefully I can do this while I'm filming at the same time. And I'm going to draw this bucket here like that. Ooh, that bucket has a dent now. And then I'm going to draw, of course, the handle. Every bucket has to have a handle, right? <clears throat> there we go. Excuse me. And there's the handle. But for some reason, this bucket has a hole. There we go. There's a hole in the bucket. And we're going to put the artist right with the um, bucket over the artist's head. I'm just going to draw every bucket for some reason has these lines and I you know the artist definitely has plenty of ideas am I still in focus cool alrighty and I will draw the artist with passion but this artist is standing in a puddle of basically water because that bucket is just pouring water. Oh my goodness. Right? Water's pouring all over. And at the same time, this artist, I'm going to give him a hand this time because, I don't know. I feel like he needs a hand. Okay. So we're going to draw him with a water hose. How about that? And... So there we go, he has a hand, there we have it, he's got three fingers, <laughs> and he's basically trying to fill that bucket with water. And that bucket is just 
spilling water left and right there we go so that's it you guys that is the artist gold to me i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks again for watching i'll see you next time bye i cannot tell you sorry I, oh my god i'm gonna have to do another video no that's not it uh yeah i don't know if that's right i'm gonna have to do another video